Le mécanisme RED peut stopper net euh, la déforestation à Madagascar si les communautés de base locales arrivent à s'approprier et à bénéficier vraiment euh, des résultats de ce mécanisme. When viewed from space, the northwestern coast of Madagascar appears to be bleeding into the Indian Ocean. It's actually soil erosion from rampant deforestation. Topsoil, vital for agricultural fertility, is lost, running the water red, affecting life in the rivers throughout the country. In the past 60 years, half of Madagascar's forests have been destroyed, the main direct causes are people's dependence on fuel wood and charcoal for cooking and farmers clearing land for agriculture. La culture brûlée, c'est l'agriculture des pauvres dans les forêts. Parce que dans les forêts de Madagascar actuelles, où ce sont tous des coins isolés, les populations n'arrivent plus à, à subvenir à leurs besoins pour le, le travail. Donc ils ont besoin vraiment de défricher la, la forêt naturelle. For Madagascar, slash and burn is only one of many drivers of deforestation. Mining is another, illegal timber harvesting too, and uncontrolled grazing of livestock. These directly cause trees to be cut down. But the underlying causes are even more important. Population pressure, poverty, a lack of joined up policy or coordination between sectors, weak governance following social and political unrest. These kinds of drivers are structural and require structural remedies. The Red Plus mechanism will, it is hoped, act as a spur to designing and implementing these remedies. But in the last decades, most of the action against deforestation has taken place at a local level, driven by committed NGOs. Red Plus funding has so far supported five different deforestation pilot projects across the country. One of these projects was run as a partnership between Etc., WWF and Agrisud International in a small village 180 kilometers from the capital. The roads to the village are almost inaccessible and the valley in which the farmers live is like a lost world, completely shut off from the outside. This Red Plus project has introduced a number of sustainable farming techniques, such as systems of rice intensification, which increase yields while maintaining soil fertility and help limit slash and burn agriculture. This project site was chosen as the villagers live directly on the tree line of dense forest. Their new approach to forest management means that they have not only stopped clearing trees, but now also protect the forest with regular patrols. <laughs> And keep. Over 65% of Madagascar's 23 million inhabitants live in rural areas. Red Plus was at first a mechanism that aimed to unlock international funding for developing countries by monetizing the carbon in their forests. But its scope has widened dramatically to promote the multiple benefits of forests. Carbon is abstract. 
but preventing soil erosion, securing water access and quality, providing timber and energy, food and medicines, not to mention cultural and religious roles, are very tangible benefits of forests. Je pense que les défis principaux de la mise en œuvre de, de, de la politique RAID à Madagascar, déjà, c'est de, c'est en termes de, de, de connaissance du, du concept. Ça, je pense que c'est, c'est très important déjà de, euh, donc, à essayer de convaincre à la fois au niveau de la primature, au niveau de la présidence, pour l'intérêt justement de Madagascar euh, à s'insérer dans, dans cette stratégie-là. Meti sahir na yan durawi lazo alo sa ti nan rano fare sa meti sahir na kira na yan sa ti ahuan hias taol ni rano so tani so. By looking beyond pure conservation to acknowledge livelihoods and then empowering local communities to recognize and benefit from the multiple uses of forests. Projects like these have demonstrated great results at a local level. But scaling them up to the national level, the only way to really address deforestation in a country as big as Madagascar has not been possible using voluntary carbon payments alone. The principal message I would like to pass is that the resolution of the forest problems is not in the forest. C'est un problème général, vraiment au niveau de, de la gouvernance du pays. The national deforestation rate remains high, at about 0.5% per annum. Protecting forests for biodiversity didn't completely manage to stop deforestation. Protecting them for carbon probably won't either. But if they are seen as part of progress towards sustainable development goals, their true value will become clear. This should spur government to take steps that address the structural issues, clarifying people's rights to land, improving land use planning, empowering communities to sustainably manage their forest, and enforcing the law more effectively. On commence de plus en plus à parler de l'atteinte de l'objectif de développement durable, et je pense que le RAID peut jouer un rôle crucial dans ce sens parce que on parle aussi de d'approche paysage, c'est-à-dire essayer d'allier un peu les différents secteurs, d'essayer de to combine a sort of approach multisectorial. When compared to other African countries, Madagascar demonstrates that just like PHCF, Red Plus projects in the country should move on from a carbon market funded conservationist approach only. Local action must be underpinned by government policy reforms that are harmonized across the different sectors that forests cover agriculture, energy, mining, land tenure, and law enforcement. Forests alone are worth saving, but are worth so much more as a lever to national development. D'un point de vue personnel, comme tout malgache qui se respecte, on attache une importance par rapport au Tanjaz, on a par rapport aux terres des ancêtres. Et on essaie tous d'apporter notre pierre à l'édifice, de, d'essayer de comprendre les choses, d'essayer de, de conserver. Et ceci, justement, c'est, c'est, c'est le challenge de, de, au niveau du ministère, c'est comment faire pour qu'il y ait une sorte d'équilibre entre l'activité de conservation et l'activité de développement.